I mean, the most extraordinary place in the whole of Central Asia, and I mean extraordinary in the broadest sense of the term, is the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, which actually in the Kazakh language means capital, so it's the only country in the world where the name of the capital city is capital. Um, <laughs> and, but it's, an, it's you know, it, it's, there was an older city there, but most of it is a new city built completely since about 1997. Um, and it, it's just an extraordinary site. You have these gold and blue and turquoise and green shapes rising out of the flat step or um, I mean it's either viewed as, as sort of an architectural wonder or as an architectural mess you know? um, uh, but you know I, I mean I think we need to look at it in a couple of ways I mean this is Kazakhstan saying to the world we are not a country of nomadic herders right. you know? right. you know, well, we have traditions, but we are a modern, um, progressive uh, country uh, whose capital can look like Dubai. Right? Um, so there's this sort of really interesting tension going on in a lot of these countries between, you know, um, you know, you know the, 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 the past and the future. And interestingly enough, I mean, they try to tie a lot of the architecture. I mean, there are a lot of symbolic shapes in the architecture which are reflective of, tra which are reflective of traditional culture. Kazakhs are very proud of their capital. I mean, there's posters all over the country say, Astana, my Lubimi Gorod, my favorite city. You know, a little strange if you come from another city to say that, but it's very much a symbol of national pride and, um, you know, and represents, you know, Kazakhstan's perception of itself as now you know, uh, a, you know, a world power, a player on the world stage, led by its great leader, President Nusultan Nazarbayev.